Hi guys, Tammy Trier from TrierWilderness.com. Welcome to my She Cave. I thought I'd jump on here quick today and just mention a couple things. Um, one thing is I believe I am venturing to um, my annual trip to get my hair trimmed. Um, and I think I'm going to be donating my hair um, to locksoflove.com. There is also another um, a hair donation company, um, wigsforkids.com, and they are both organizations that um, take hair donations and utilize that to make wigs for children who have um, cancer or varying other um, ailments and diseases that are causing them to lose their hair. Um, I've done this before in the past and it's just a it's a nice gratifying thing to do. Um, I'm due. I'm, I'm tired of my mane. However, I've got to be careful because the mountain man likes my hair long so I have to see how short it's going to make my hair this evening. But i um, got to keep the mountain man happy. He's a good man. But um, I wanted to mention it today because it's not just women that can do this, it's men that can do it also. And I know there's a lot of men out there with long hair. Just a consideration, um, I start thinking of things all year long, but especially now, um, on how I can additionally help people. And um, that leads me to a couple other subjects. Um, some of you may have seen my video earlier in the year regarding um, Ryan and Brooke and um, Brooke's uh, brain cancer um, video. Uh, she is a very young mom of two beautiful little children and they've got a great family. They're good friends of ours and um, this is her second round of uh, brain cancer. Um, she had found out about it initially in 2009 and um, and had a miracle happen and um, had the tumor uh, reappear uh, at the beginning of this year. So we've been, you know, uh, asking our prayer warriors to keep them in mind and um, I have recently joined their family in helping them to raise some extra funding. Um, having cancer can be really expensive and they've been traveling back and forth from um, Missouri or Michigan to uh, Texas um, for her treatments. So it's been rather costly and so if you go to our website at treyerwilderness.com you can find a link in the right sidebar um, where you can uh, donate and help them out if it, you feel moved to do so. But I wanted to mention it on this video um, just so you're aware of it. And I wanted to encourage you to join me on treyerwilderness.com. Every Wednesday I will continue my show, the Mountain Woman Radio Show, there. And you can click on Mountain Woman Radio and get the recent um, show as well as all my archives um, moving forward as well as the ones that I've done on the Survival Mom Radio Network. So um, I encourage you to join me and tell your friends. Um, I feel very blessed to be able to interview some amazing people. Michael Hawk was on my show um, a couple months back and um, I've had a lot of wonderful authors with amazing stories and amazing helpful um, books and inspirational books. So um, definitely check it out and, and join me to listen as well as sharing it with your friends. And if any of you are interested in joining me on my show, feel free to reach out to me at survive at treyerwilderness.com. Well, guys, I thought I'd jump on here real quick and show you. I did it. It's 10 inches shorter, and I'm going to donate my hair to Locks of Love. And like I had mentioned, I encourage you guys to do the same like I mentioned in the earlier video. Both male or female can do this. doesn't matter um, what color your hair is. Um, they take gray hair too, thankfully, because there's some in here as well. So um, I just thought this was a great way uh, to give a little this holiday season. I am missing my hair, I will admit that. Um, but it's not as heavy and it grows back. So... Um, Actually, when it got down to the nitty-gritty, um, it was about right where the mountain man didn't want it to go past. And, of course, when she dried it, it went past. So, um, it'll grow back. But anyway, I just wanted to encourage you guys to, uh, you know, give this a whirl and uh, give that a consideration. If you have lots of hair and you're getting tired of it, um, don't just get it cut off. Donate it. And, and uh, just remember to be thankful and see your blessings every day. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video. God bless. You.